had were pouring a uh, 140, 140 milliliters of washing soda solution, otherwise known as sodium carbonate solution. That's water saturated with sodium carbonate. It's highly alkaline. 12.5. On the pH scale. That's right. It measures at 12.5 on the pH scale. So go ahead and pour that into the into water here. in that container in front of you. Exactly. All right. So that's now highly alkaline water. To, uh, to the left of that container, you'll see another big bowl. And that bowl is reconstituted seawater. That's uh, Dead sea salt. That's uh, two tablespoons, two heaping tablespoons of dead sea salt and one heaping tablespoon of Himalayan pink salt. So that's those two types of salts that are dissolved into water, reconstituting seawater. Now we're going to pour it into the alkaline solution. Well, it's two clear liquids. Watch what happens. Oh my god. Science. What you're seeing, what you're seeing there, is uh, some of the mineral content More. in the reconstituted seawater coming out of solution, becoming insoluble at that high pH, flocculating, and uh, creating little tiny flakes of magnesium and calcium, which will precipitate to the bottom, giving us a nice white slurry at the bottom of that container after a day or two which will be mostly calcium and mostly magnesium and a little bit of our mystery mineral which mm -hmm. the plants and uh, animals seem to love so much. Also known as mother's milk. Yeah. Cleopatra's Oops. milk. Cleopatra's milk, Hathor's milk. We, we're using the uh, Egyptian method here so we're going with an Egyptian theme so yeah we can call it Hathor's milk. <laughs> stir it. Stir it tiny a little bit. I'm going to keep this cold. Oh my god it's Thick. Yeah, stir it up, stir it up. Oh. <laughs> Extremely mineral rich. Now when the stuff that we want precipitates out, falls to the bottom and forms a layer, we will decant all of the clear water on top, getting rid of all the stuff that we don't want. And uh, those are things like sodium, excess potassium, and bromide as well will all stay in solution so they can be removed through decanting and then we can wash the precipitate with distilled water or, or a good RO water works too. Alchemy 101. Wet method. It's the Egyptian method also known as the wet method done with uh, natron or sodium carbonate. Okay, turn off the camera now. All right.